Now we're going to be sewing some seams. You might be wondering, what is a seam? A seam is when you have two pieces of fabric that you put together and join. So a basic seam is just sewn by sewing these two pieces together. I'm pinning them, I'm getting the edges matched and I'm pinning them. And I want the pins placed perpendicular to the edge, which means they're not at an angle, they're straight up and down. And I'm going to use my seam allowance guideline by placing my fabric on the half inch guideline and I'm placing um, the presser foot about a little bit over the edge, the back edge of the fabric. So my edge is lined up with the half inch guideline and I am going to sew a seam. So I start by stitching a few stitches forward and a few stitches back. And then I continue down. When I get to my close to my pin, I'm going to take the pin out. That's for safety, so we don't break a needle or a pin or have it go flying somewhere. So we keep sewing. Until we get to the bottom edge of the fabric. I'm going to pick up the presser foot, pull my threads out, cut my threads at the fabric, and you can see that is what it looks like to begin with. And what it has done is it has joined these two pieces of fabric together. And we would then open up the seam. I'm doing it with my fingers. You can finger press it, or you can press it with an iron, and then that is your first seam. That's a basic seam. And then moving on, we want to do a seam that's going to finish the edge. If you notice, this raw edge of the fabric tends to have all sorts of loose threads. So when that happens, especially in the wash, it doesn't behave very well and it's less stable. So to stabilize the edge of the fabric, we're going to do something called a zigzag finish. And we're going to finish these edges before we join them. So I'm setting my uh, stitch selector on the zigzag and I'm going to go ahead, I'm just testing it to make sure, yep, it's ready. So it's on C, my stitch length between the two and the three, and my stitch width at the five. I'm lining the uh, edge of the fabric up in the, in the little oval there so that the needle goes over the edge of the fabric. We really want it to grab the edge of the fabric to stabilize those threads. And I'm keeping it lined up kind of with the eighth inch guideline. Now with zigzagging, you can choose to back stitch or not. It's not as crucial. We're still gonna clip our threads. And you can see we have um, threads wrapping around the edge of that fabric and that helps to stabilize it. I'll do that to one more edge. Some machines, your your zigzag will make the edge roll a bit. Like this one, the edges roll a bit, but that's okay. It's just a minute thing that doesn't really matter so much. I'll trim my threads, and I will put these right sides together. So with the right side of the fabric on the inside, because we don't want these these edges showing on the outside matching up these edges and I'm going to switch my stitch selector back to the straight stitch and 
And I'm going to line up my edges with the half inch guide line, back stitching at the beginning, just like we did for our original seam. Sometimes when you go faster, it's harder to keep it on the guide line. So try to go as slow as you can. Taking out your pins as you go, back stitching at the beginning and the end. And there we have our second seam. And this is what it looks like when it is pressed open, just like that. 